terrain. See, these runners give new meaning to the word outlandish. My hash name is Mr. Jackson. Uh, I'm the founder of the Runston Hash. We started in May in 1978. We've been doing this for 23 years. And it started in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, 1938. Some English planters started running from a bar called the Hash House. And then they moved, they started chapters. There's literally thousands of chapters all over the world now. Runston's an all-male hash. It's got out of a sense of humor. You know, things don't take things too seriously. You get out and you have some fun. You know, it's like really serious runners don't really do well at these things, you know, because it's, it's rough. You know, so you, you walk some areas, you run some, and there's, there's false trails and everything. So, you know, it's, you got out of a sense of humor. That's, that's the main thing. Someone that doesn't like routine. Someone, pe people who like change, change of pace. Like running, working out, but different type of running. Something that has a little more fun to it, not very competitive, but just more fun. Fun is stress, uh, and, and more group camaraderie. You gotta be a consistent runner and wanna be out in uh, any kind of conditions. You wanna be able to uh, go out in the cold, the rain, the wet, the snow, etc. cetera. So basically committed to uh, running or any other activity. On, on means, uh, when you're on the trail, you yell on, on, it means you're following the flower. When the trail ends, you yell checking, everybody runs around trying to find out where the new trail starts. It's kind of taken on the old English hares and hounds, which is an old sport. And uh, it's a nice break from serious running. Yeah, the worse the weather, the better it is. Yeah, it would, it would wreak havoc on, on a race or something, but uh, no, it's, yeah. That's part of it, who cares? You can't run, you walk, you can get through it. <laughs> Those actually make it as tougher, so it's a, it's a, it's a tougher workout. And, uh, you know, I was breathing pretty heavy out there today, considering, you know. This is a little off the beaten path. It's a little, something a little different. Running over the streams, everyone being a little ingenious in how to tackle certain paths, climbing trees, scaling barbed wire fence, things like that. Well, the park ranger stopped us because uh, he thought that uh, the deers were in heat and, uh, can I say that? Okay. And uh, so he was, uh, you know, checking around. We were using Kool-Aid as a marker. Uh, so the park ranger was like, you know, giving us a hard time, but we had uh, good legal counsel out in the race course. We've been training all through the winter. We've been out in 14 degree weather. And today is actually 30 degrees, so it's pretty warm. I actually broke a sweat today. So it's a good time, um, you know, any men, we're looking for guys, middle-aged preferably, and uh, come down to the Runston Hash, Saturday morning gives you a good excuse to get out of the house, and uh, we do, a, you don't even have to be able to run. We got guys in this hash who couldn't run around their car, and uh, so on, on. We'll see you next year at the 6th Annual Freezing Cold Hash. The Rumson Hash run every Saturday morning, uh, different locations in Mons and Middlesex County, tackling um, farms, fields, brooks, swamps, woods, uh, and uh, hope that uh, other people that want to get in shape and have an adventurous spirit can participate with us at future occasions. Thank you. Well, I was asked to take a run with these guys in the snow, but I got cold feet. Get it? If you're interested in joining the Hash House Harriers for a run, call their hotline at 732-219-0301 and wear your long john. Thanks for tuning in to Neighborhood Journal. If you have suggestions or story ideas for future Neighborhood Journal programs, please call our producer, Deb Wall, at 732-681-8222, extension 2258, or our associate producer, Bill Mechanic, at extension 2294. I'm Bill Jamison reminding you to tune in to Cablevision Neighborhood Journal each Wednesday night at 7 p.m. for an all-new edition, and tune in all week long for rebroadcast of tonight's program. And have a good evening, neighbor.